Well, let's come down to a fact of science so we get this clear. Less than 1%, less than 1% of disease is connected to genes. So I said, where the hell is all the disease coming from? And it goes, it's coming from stress. And I say, what's stress? Now, this is really important because stress is anything that gets in the way of your destination. I want to have this, I want to go there, whatever, and then something gets in the way that, you know, provokes stress. And I go, so why is it relevant? Because stress is the cause of disease of 90% of the people. And I say, why is that relevant? Again, that's not genetic, that's a perception. I am stressed because I believe I'm stressed and therefore my cells are going to respond to my stress. Whether it's real or not, the cells can't see it, they only are based on what I believe. What do we recognize stress for? And I go, because we're being threatened. That's what stress means, something's threatening you. Let's go back, uh, you know, thousands of years and I say, what was the stress? I say, saber-toothed tiger. I go, oh, okay. I say, well, what happens when the saber-toothed tiger is chasing you? I say, you got to run like hell. <laughs> I say, well, what organs in your body do you use to deal with stress? I go, arms and legs to <laughs> escape. So I say, now here comes the next point. Well, if I'm going to need those organs to escape from the tiger, then here's the most important thing. I need to give them energy because without energy, the muscles aren't going to work. So I say, what provides energy? I say, blood. So I go, oh, why is it relevant? And here it comes. When I perceive a stress, stress hormones function is to provide as much blood to my arms and legs as I can get because I need all of that energy to run away from the tiger. So I say, well, where's it getting the blood from? I said, well, the heart's pumping the blood. Yeah, but it's pumping it all over the body. So I say, well, when the blood is in my gut, what is the function of the organs? Lungs, you know, gut, all those organs in there. I say, maintenance of the body, health of the body, fixing the body and all that. And I say, well, if you're running away from a saber-toothed tiger, do you think it's good to invest in taking care of your body at this point? I go, what a waste of time. If the tiger catches you the hell with a body, it's not going to exist anyway. So here's number one. When stress is perceived, stress hormones released into the body cause the blood vessels in the gut to squeeze shut. I go, why? Because when they squeeze shut, the blood is pushed to the outside, arms and legs, okay? So I say, yeah, but net consequence? You shut down the blood vessels in the gut and you shut down the maintenance and health of the body. I say, yeah, but for how long? How long does it take to get away from that tiger? 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you're away from the tiger, stress is gone, everything's back in condition again. So number one, stress shuts down blood flow to the gut because it's going to make sure the blood goes preferentially to the arms and legs. Number two, and this is critical now, the immune system uses tremendous amount of energy. Most people, when they get really sick, don't even have the energy to get out of bed. So I say, well, let's say I have a bacterial infection and a saber-toothed tiger is chasing me. How should I split my energy? Uh, again, the hell with a bacterial infection if the tiger, the, you know, the saber-toothed tiger catches you. Uh, the infection doesn't mean anything anymore. <laughs> it get, it's the tiger's problem. So I go, okay, so what does it mean? Fact, stress hormones shut off the immune system to conserve energy to run away from the tiger, okay? And I go, wow, uh, so stress hormones shut it down. I go, so much so, listen, medical doctors use stress hormones therapeutically, meaning if they want to transplant an organ from person A into person B, and you put that organ in, the foreign organ into the recipient, the immune system of the recipient is going to say, that's foreign, and try and destroy it. And I say, well, <laughs> what good is the operation if I just take the organ and put it into somebody else and the immune system messes with it? And I go, this is why medical doctors give patients that are going to receive a transplant. They give them stress hormones because when they give them the stress hormones and then do the transplant, the recipient's immune system is not going to be working and it will sustain the transplant. How effective of shutting off the immune system? It's used therapeutically to shut off the immune system. You can't move forwards and backwards at the same time. You can't be open and closed at the same time. So basically it says, if you're in a stress mode, you've shut your system down 
Uh, and, and I say, so why is it relevant? I go, look at today's world. Every time you turn on TV, be afraid, be very afraid, go hide in your house. And I go, wow, that's as scary as hell. I say, why is it relevant? I am getting stress hormones dripping into my system every time I watch that damn TV. I'm getting stress hormones when I read a paper, go and surf the internet. And I go, and what is that doing for you? And I say, it is compromising your health. I go, oh, I say, that's where disease comes from. Not from the genes, but you shut yourself down. And then, as I said, you become less intelligent. Then what do you do? Defer to the boss. Who's the one that's going to protect me? Whatever they say, I'm going to do. Why? I'm not thinking. I'm just going to do what they say because they know I don't know. I go, oh my God, have we just screwed the world big time. <laughs> I go, why? Because the planet is on 24-7 stress. Any compromises to your health have compromised your immune system. 40% of U.S. citizens have 2.7 chronic diseases. 2.7. One chronic disease, 60% of Americans have. But 40% of the Americans have 2.7. I go, so why is it relevant? They're compromised before the damn virus even showed up. And I go, well, why is that relevant? Because when the virus shows up, are they weakened because the virus is so strong? Or are they weakened because their immune system is under stress? And I go, that's the one. I say, but you blame the virus. And then everybody's now afraid. Healthy people are afraid. Well, you got them scared to death. I say, what's the result of that? You've messed with their immune system. You've already compromised their immune system because the stress hormones function shut off the immune system. The more you scare them, the worse the consequence of the COVID is. Quantum physics is the most valid science on this planet. It's the one that's been tested the most and verified to be more truthful than any other science. I go, so what? Because what's the first principle of quantum physics? The mind is the creator of our life experiences. And it says, your consciousness is creating your life. I go, why is that relevant? Because if you change your consciousness, you can change your life. It's like you don't have to wait for life to change from the outside. It's you on the inside. And so we have been systematically disempowered. You have been manipulated by a belief system. And then belief controls genetics. And belief controls your biology. And if you start with a negative belief, you only end up with a negative biology. It's the only way it happens.